All right, since there's not much information on the AMS Chef slow juicer from Amazon, I figured I'd make one. So this is how it came. No box for the box, just came this way to the door in this box. So we'll see what we get here. Got the manual, got a cleaning brush, the shoot feeder, I guess. Packaging. All right. Let's get out the assembly. I've had one of these before. Um, it was a slightly more expensive brand, but it's been some time, so but they feel similar. And then, of course, the motor, which I'll have to weigh it, but it's not particularly heavy if weight is any indicator of robustness or longevity or anything to do with the motor itself. I have some older heavy-duty vacuum cleaners that are incredibly heavy because of the components that are inside, so that could be an indicator. But I also purchased the extra warranty so if anything does happen then I guess they'll have to fix it but look at that assembled without any instructions I guess next we'll have to uh, test it out but there's your hopper I guess you can lift that up and let things go in or you can put them through the hole it's pretty big a little bit of a Feeding action there and test it out. All right, got her set up. Two speeds. Now they say this is grapes is slow speed and carrots is high speed. I disagree. I want my hard items to be slow also. <laughs> But, I mean, the pulp's pretty dry. All right, time to try the big one. Apparently on low, it doesn't have enough power. Let's crank it up. I don't want it to go fast though, it defeats the purpose.
Now, the purpose of getting this was so I could use the low speed and well, to crush with low speed and apparently I can't. So that's unfortunate. All right, little stress test. We already figured out it won't go on low, which is unfortunate. I mean, I can do, I can do this wheatgrass, but of course it needs something hard to push it through. So I'll put it on high, put the carrots in to push it through. What's happening here? Not that that's eventually going to be a problem. Maybe not. I'll leave it there for a minute. stuck there. First time it's got stuck actually, just the shape of the beef. Ooh, good chunk. Yeah, it's gonna struggle. It's doing it, but it's not happy about it. I'm not sure if that's probably gonna, probably gonna burn out the motor doing that. Motors aren't, don't like to go slow like that. So let's put it on high, unfortunately, and feed this one in. Yeah, it really doesn't like the shape of these beats. First time I really needed to use the pusher. There it goes. This guy might be too big. Let's chop this one down a little. Make it a more reasonable size. <laughs> Meats just seem to be. It's the larger size, it just doesn't get caught as easily by the yard. There we go. Now the screw's catching it. It's doing it. Alright, there was beets. Try some celery. Try some leafy stuff. Got some turmeric. Oh, see the celery coming out. Some ginger. Oh, that looks nice. And not popular in America that I know of, but it's some root celery. And there we have it. I mean, it didn't break. <laughs> I made two small cups for lunch. And it's not a lot, really. That's, this is, what, 8 ounce? So 16 ounces is all I've made so far. But 16 ounces of hard stuff, nothing easy. As you can expect, the end cap and the main 
housing units cleaned up pretty easy for the most part just a, a rinsed out give it a quick little scrub I feel like I've got everything out of there <clears throat> it does have the rubber seal here for the end um, we've got some I guess this is carrots or maybe the turmeric it's uh, stuck on the auger here it really doesn't want to come off. Yeah, there it is. Must be probably the turmeric. I love this stuff, but it just gets everywhere. I'm not sure sometimes it's worth the hassle. Anyway, um, and the, the screen, oh my goodness, the screen took me a good five minutes of scrubbing. I don't know that they all have these little windows, but that means every little crevice here that I had to get into. It does look like that's the turmeric getting all over. But yeah, this took quite some time. As you can see, I I did end up getting it clean, but that took a while. It's That was more effort than I thought it was going to be for one use. Definitely wasn't fun, so I'm not sure if that's super common. I guess it has to have something for rigidity because it's maybe it's how cheap it's made, but I'm not really happy about this. So other than that, I guess it comes down to the yield, which I already drank some, so I don't know how to measure that, but it didn't break, so that's a good start.